Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Why well, I am certainly excited to be speaking with you today. Well, I am continuing my series on uh, teaching you about prayer. And so this particular video uh, addresses those of you that desire to have a personal prayer line and the, you have a question such as how does one pray? I've never been taught how to say a personal prayer or really talk to God. And so this is to help you to get started. So the model prayer that I have for you today is called ACTS. That, that is the acronym ACTS, A-C-T-S. And A stands for there is no form, A stands for adoration. Now there is no formula formula to prayer is simply conversing with God. It's essentially talking with God as you will talk with an earthly, earthly parent who loves you and wants the, wants the best for you. God is your heavenly father who loves you perfectly. Now the Acts model will be helpful to you as you learn how to pray. Acts stands for adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Now adoration means worship. We just want to get into God's presence, uh, get your quiet place where you can spend time and you begin your, your time of prayer with adoration. It simply means that you are adoring the Lord God Almighty, praising him for his goodness, praising because he's almighty, he's all powerful. And you want to reference the, character, the characteristics of the Lord and just adoring him. For example, Father, I just adore you. I love you, Father. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your tender mercies and loving kindness. You are a faithful God. And so this is an example how you want to do adoration. And so there are so many ways you can uh, adore the Lord. So just get into the word of the Lord, especially in the book of Psalms. There are, there are many scriptures there that you can use uh, to uh, express adoration toward the Lord. And so the next uh, part of this model is confession. So this next component means agreeing with God about the things that you've done wrong. Sometimes, you know, we are not perfect. So sometimes there may be sin, there may be iniquity. So you simply go before the Lord, asking the, asking the Lord to forgive you of your sins, any iniquity, and asking God to bring forth healing and deliverance in those areas that you want to just lay down at the full of the cross. We should be willing to confess our sins, confess our iniquities, to turn away from those things, asking God to bring total healing and deliverance in your life. So this is the part of um this is the part that you always include in your prayer time. Confession. So ask God to forgive you for these things and then believe that he does so freely. So when we confess our sin, the scripture says God cleanses us. He purifies us through and through. He cleanses us from all our unrighteousness. So there's no need to go into condemnation because the scripture says once we confess those sins, uh, the scripture says there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So don't allow the enemy to bring in a guilt trip over you. Just reject it. Anything that comes back as a guilt, guilt trip, just know that is from the evil one. And don't receive it. Don't accept it. But always stand on the promise of God that when we confess our sins, God is willing to forgive us of our sins and iniquity. And the next part of this model is uh, the T, which stands for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving basically means being thankful to God for the many wonderful things that he has done in your life. There is there, there is so many things that we can be thankful for. Thank God for your family. Thank God for his goodness and faithfulness. Thank God for life, for waking up in the morning. Thank God that you have mobility of your limbs. Thank God that you can cook. 
You can cook for your spouse. Thank God for your children. And so I just, you know, sometimes we can get into that mode that we are ungrateful. If I find myself getting in a mode that I am great, ungrateful, unthankful, I get my journal out and I start listing the things that I, to the Father that I am thankful for. For example, Lord, I am thankful for my family. I am thankful you're giving us a place to live. I am so thankful, Lord God, that you have given me Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I am so thankful, Lord, that you have given us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit abides within me. Lord, I praise you and I thank you for your love and kindness. I thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. So there are so many things that we can give thanks to the Lord. Let's put that into practice on a daily basis because, because God desires to see that we are thankful and we are grateful. And the next thing that of this component of, of the prayer model of Acts is uh, the S stands for supplication. So when we say supplication, this, this is a time that we present our prayer requests before the Lord. This is a time that we um, really uh, spend uh, some time in and uh, extended prayer, of uh, affected prayer, because the scripture says the prayers of a righteous man availeth much, uh, uh, and the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So we need to be fervent in our prayers, uh, spend a little more time and supplicating before the Lord, um, not only just praying for our own needs or the needs of our family, but on, on the need, behalf of others, the president, the administration, the, the government of your city, the government of the United States of America, praying and interceding for other nations, uh, interceding for our missionaries, interceding for those uh, persecuted Christians in other nations, uh, even persecution here in the United States. So we have many things to be in supplication before the Lord. So keep in mind that the Acts model serves as a guide to help you. It is not a rigid formula, but it's just a guide to get you started and to keep you focused. And so if you have any questions, don't fail to comment or send me our e uh, an email. And so I want you to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click uh, the bell so th that you continue to get the new content. Also, I want you to share these videos so others can receive uh, a blessing from them. And so be blessed and have a wonderful day.